So with the new version of the game being a little bit easier, um, I've been trying to come up with some different uh, challenges to run. And this is one that uh, I've, I've been working on. And this is uh, the tier two cap challenge. I'm not sure, maybe someone can think of a better name, but essentially what this that means is you cannot buy any pets above tier two. So food is fine, but you can't even buy sell pets from tiers higher than two. So in the early game, that actually doesn't make a big difference. Obviously, you know, you most of the time you're buying tier one and two pets for the first uh, four or five turns. Um, you can obviously get tier three from spider and so on, but um, for this challenge, even pilling spider isn't allowed. And so we, what, what I decided, I tried a lot of different. Um, techniques in the beginning I tried salamander shrimp and um, it just one of the problems that you run into is the longer the game goes um, the harder it is to find stuff in the shop that you can buy and so the buy sell just kind of can fall apart quite easily so instead I decided to go with pug and jelly or well I, I say decided I mean after much trial and error I decided to go with uh, pug and jellyfish because Obviously, jellyfish is very strong, but also, you know, pug has a lot of uh, early game utility. Here you can see the pug triggering both fish uh, abilities in battle to get a huge stat boost there. And I've also got bats, so this pack basically has almost all of the best um, tier 2 pets. There's probably some other ones that could be in there. I did have swan for a while, but um, like I said, the, you know, the... The longer the game goes, although you have a lot more money, you know, you're struggling to find stuff to buy. Um, uh, I get, maybe, maybe Swan could have, been, could have worked out, but I just wasn't getting it working. So here we do get the jelly jellyfish on, um, on turn five, a little bit later than normal, but it's not too bad because the pug has, has good stats. And now we can uh, start leveling the fish up and um, we're gonna go for the um, double level up with the fish and luckily here we get both pug and fish on the next roll and pug getting to level two is great because it means that it can now um trigger the jellyfish in battle as well um on any level one pet that we buy so um you know that could be something as simple as as buying dove and then immediately getting a level two dove for the next battle which might just be enough to stay alive because I had a lot of attempts at this and most of them ended, or most of the good runs ended at um, at seven wins. And here I decide not to level the fish because I want to get the level two jellyfish first before I do the, the double level up because that will be a big injection of stats. Um, one other thing the pug can also be used for is uh, finding a, a second bat. And here the weakness come, <laughs> comes in very handy because uh, the elephant insta kills its own camel. This is on the latest update of the game and you may actually notice that the, the gameplay is a lot faster even on the most, um, I play on the, the default slowest speed, but they've quite drastically increased the speed of the battles. Um, and uh, they've also added a bit more of an animation to the pets. I feel like that was there before and maybe it's just been reverted, but in the previous version of the game, the pets just moved in a straight line um, when they move forward in battle but now they actually kind of slide backwards and forwards a little bit like they rock backwards and forwards you'll see it here once the jellyfish faints they all kind of shake a little bit it's just a subtle thing but um they're always tinkering so here you can see i've got the dove frozen i would like to just pill it um and then we're looking to try and level up the second jellyfish because then that will mean i can combine it with the other one and get a level three and there's another bat which is great. Uh, there were more doves there, but r trying to freeze multiple doves and look for pill just uh, you know isn't isn't wise. And here you go up against basically you know this is the the problem with custom packs. Like I, I have no shot there whatsoever against the buy sell team that sold Tamarin into um, Highland Cow on turn nine. So here we do get the the jellyfish and. Um, that's a massive upgrade. So now I'm thinking what to do. I think I should just sell the fish. And one thing um, they also changed, there's a couple of things they changed that are relevant in this um, this game. 
One of them is that Bat will now pass over pets that already have weakness. So previously, if you had two Bats, then you could end up wasting some of them, but you can see here with two level two Bats, we are guaranteed to hit four pets. And that actually results in us getting the win. Lucky it, one of the weakness hits didn't land on the uh, back unit. Uh, so pill the dove, that was lucky to get the pill there. I did freeze the fish just in case I found like double chocolate very quickly. Because although you wouldn't normally do that in the late game here where there's a very limited selection of pets we can buy, um, you know, it would probably be worth it. So here what I decided to do is create a pug chain. That will result in the jellyfish triggering twice in the battle. And we find another bat, which is great. So here I'm already on like a very good run compared to normal. And unfortunately, one of the issues is you can run up against opposing jellyfish. But here we would easily win one out of three times, uh, two out of um, three times. But we got extremely unlucky with the second bat missing the jellyfish, which had coconut. And it if it hit either of the, if it um, got any of the combinations with the jellyfish there, we would have won. Uh, but we do get the melon here and another level up on the pug which gives a bit more stats to the jellyfish and this team is going to get uh, completely covered in uh, weakness although the, the hippo does have melon but it's very low stats and that's going to get us the win here and now we're on to eight which was again I think that was the best I'd done to this point so here's tomato and that's one good way to make um, you know weak stat pets very useful and I think, I can't remember for sure, but I think the bat ability triggers before the tomato fires because it would be start of battle first and then before attack. So this time, again, we're going against a disgusting buy sell team like you've got no shot here whatsoever. Uh, Starfish, Dragon, Swan, Bird of Paradise, Blue Ringed Octopus. I mean, have you no shame? So, so here, there's another pug. Um, it may actually, I'm not sure, maybe it would have been worth just rolling here for um, for chocolate. But I do find another bat. So now we can actually rearrange the team to be even better because the level 3 pug can make one of the bats level 3. And now we will guarantee getting uh, all five pets weakened. And I think actually one of the other changes they made is that experience can be given to pet in battle to pets above or actually it can be in the shop as well, can be given to pets on level three. So the jellyfish will actually get plus one, one, I think in the battle here. Yeah, it does. You can see what happens here is the macaque gets weakness and then gives weakness to the orangutan as well. It's actually the same team we fought earlier. And this time it's an even easier win because of the five uh, uh, weakness uh, applications. So now we're on nine wins and I'm very nervous here because I'd never gotten anywhere near this close. Take the level up on the pug for a bit of extra health. It will also mean an extra plus one one in, in battle for the jellyfish. And we go into the final battle and it is a summon team and we absolutely destroy them with weakness. But the deer clears both the melons. We get a good spawn on the eagle and unfortunately the Nyala spawns. If I'd given the pug tomato instead of melon that would have been a draw so it's the day after um recording this voiceover and editing the video and i was trying to play the pack again in order to get a screenshot of the full pack on turn 11 which i actually forgot to do um the servers are in a really bad way you can see that when i click stuff there it, the, the icon the spinning icon is is going for ages and actually here on nine wins, which was just, you know, pure chance. Um, I go against someone who looks like they were deliberately trying to throw. So I have, I did complete the challenge, but um, you can see again, there's a server icon. I really don't want to upload this whole run because it's just constant um, server <laughs> delays. But at least it proves it's uh, definitely possible. So if you think you can, uh, you can beat this challenge or maybe even without Pug and Jellyfish, Upload your run and post uh, a link in the comments below.